Good day, CCF fam. My name is Kate Kwan from Big Singles Ministry. And with me today is our dearest senior pastor, Pastor Peter Tanchi, to, to answer some of our questions for Sunday Fast Track. Hello po, Pastor Peter. Here are questions for you. So you mentioned in your message today uh, that victorious living is available for all and not just for a few special people. But the reality is that a lot of us still feel beaten, downtrodden, and unable to overcome the circumstances in our lives. So how can we encourage people who have a hard time believing that they can live victoriously? That's a very good question. Because just because you have been failing does not mean you will keep failing. And that's why we talk about victorious faith. Because faith is what will trigger, unleash God's power in your life, through your life. So faith is not in yourself. It is faith in who God is and His promises. And that's why when you have real faith, you begin to see victory. It is never yourself. Thank you, Pastor. For our next question, it was very clear also in the message that you mentioned that the past should not define us nor discourage us. However, there could be some people who could use this as permission to live licentiously. So how do we balance letting go of the past and um, learning from it? The meaning of letting go of the past does not mean you don't learn from it. Precisely, you learn from the mistakes of the past, but you don't dwell in that failure. You see the difference? Yes. I learn from the past, but I'm not gonna keep repeating it because I learned from it. So the Bible tells us, forgetting what lies behind, I press on. It's very hard many times to forget the past. You know why? Because the devil wants to keep you in the past. Thank you, Pastor, for that answer. Now for our last question, there might be some new believers here who are still struggling to stay the course and live victoriously and perhaps would be in need of your wisdom and advice. So what were some of the practices or discipline that helped you stay the course uh, in practicing enduring faith when you first came to know Christ and even until today? That's a wonderful <laughs> practical question. How do we maintain victorious living? For me, I have certain disciplines that I practice. Example, the discipline of spending private time with God. That is non-negotiable. I spend time with God through prayer, through the study of His Word. The study of God's Word is so crucial. You know why? It's the truth. How can I grow if I don't study the Bible? So never stagnate by doing nothing. Prayer, God's Word, and then the next discipline is so crucial, learn to share with others. Two kinds of others. Always share with fellow believers. That's what I call join a small group. Because God never intended for us to be Lone Ranger. Christians are never alone. You are to be part of a community. That's a discipline. So I have various communities that encourages me. Next, you share with unbelievers. This is where the problem comes in. When you don't share the gospel, you will stagnate. So sharing the gospel is most important. And the fifth one, always worship. That's why I don't want to miss Sunday. It's public worship. While I worship God privately, that discipline of corporate gathering is so crucial. Oh, thank you so much, Pastor Peter, for answering our questions today. But before we go, we would like to invite all of the singles to join us in Big Fridays every Friday at 7.30 p.m. here at the CCF Center. You may also follow our Facebook page or YouTube channels for more updates. And hope we'll see you there. That's it for our Sunday Fast Track. God bless. God bless. <laughs>